Hi guys, I hope you're all keeping fine. So today's video, this is my first video actually in English and what we're gonna do is try to give an edge to a Chinese straight razor, the Titan. So these razors, you can find them in multiple marketplaces for 20, 40 bucks. And as most of them, they are supposed to come shave ready, but in fact, they are not. So what we're trying to do today is to put them on put it on the stone and see if we can give it a good horn in order to put him share ready. So the scale is pretty decent to be honest. It's engraved, it's in wood, looks good. So here is a view of the edge under a microscope. So as we can see here, it, it is sharp, but it's just sharp to cut paper. Basically, it's been honed by a machine, so there is nowhere near a good shave ready razor. So the first stone I will use to reset the bevel is an Atomac 400. So this is, this is a diamond stone. And what I like to do for all my razors when I hone them is to put a bit of protective tape on the spine. This will prevent the spine to get scratched. Everybody has his own method, but I like doing it. So make sure that you don't leave any bubbles under the tape and then just cut the excess off. Then we're gonna lightly put a bit of marker, so in this case a sharpie, on the edge. Make sure to not cut the tip of the marker. This marker will be for us a good way to see if the blade is flat or not. Basically, when you put the blade on your stone, you should see the marker goes away ev evenly everywhere. If not, the blade is not flat or your stone is not flat, which here can be the case with this stone. Here, I just reset the bevel and we start on the, on the stone. So this is a very aggressive stone with diamond on top. As you can hear, it is very, very aggressive. But again, the goal is to reset the bevel and have a good start. The bevel part for me is the most important one. I usually spend around 50 to 70% of the whole session on making a right bevel. There's no point moving to another stone if the bevel is not correct. See, the tape is already gone due to the aggressiveness of the stone. So as soon as your tape is broken, you need to replace it with a new tape. Otherwise, you might change the angle of the bevel. So at first I started with some uh, uh, circle on the stone and now I'm going for the X strokes which will balance the bevel and make it fully uh, alive. So the paste, sorry, the paste is not important. What's important is to make sure that your blade is fully flat on the stone. So that's it. We are done with the Atoma 400. Make sure to dry your stone always very well. And now we're gonna check under the microscope the edge. Okay, so our edge is done. So as you can see, the Atoma left quite some big marks, but they will, they will be removed with the next stone. And the next stone will be a Japanese stone the Shapton 1000. Make sure it's clean. Then we we'll put a bit of water on top. There is no need to soak this stone, just a little um, film, I would say, of water on top. Just a little layer and that's it. And then when you're gonna use the Atoma 400, build a small slurry on top of it. This slurry will help us to remove almost fully 
the scratches on the on the edge from the atoma. And again, we start with a small circle. So I will usually yeah, make sure to have your elbow quite up, right, raise up. That will help you to have the blade fully flat on the stone. So usually I will start uh, restoring my edges on this stone. But because the, the one done previously was done under a machine, I prefer to use the Atoma, which makes it a lot easier and faster. Let's look at the light, if it's reflecting well and across the whole edges. Seems all right. So if an edge is done properly after the 1000, it should be able to cut your arm hair directly like this, without touching the skin. Here, not really yet. Doesn't cut it properly. So these razors are quite cheap, to be honest. Uh, again, you can find them between 15 to 30, 40 euros maximum. Um, and to be honest, I don't know what to expect from them. Uh, so far, the only Chinese razors I was able to get a good edge on was the gold, the gold dollar. This one, let's see. Again, let's see just above the skin without touching the skin to see if it's cutting the hair. It's a bit better, but no, not yet. Do not hesitate to spend a good amount of time to build your bevel. That will help you a lot on the following stones. Here we go. Now we are catching hair directly above the skin. As you can see, we're good. We can move to the next one. We will still check under the microscope. It's job done. All right, so as you can see here, this stone with its slurry helped a lot removing, I would say 90% of the marks done by the previous stone. So now we're gonna move to Shapton 5000. You don't need any slurry anymore on this one. Just make sure it's clean. A small layer of water on top. The blade flat on the stone. And you do your laps. You should at one point feel that the blade is slightly sticking on the stone, like if there was oil on it. This is a good sign. Now, next stone, we're gonna move to a Japanese natural stone, Jainat, as we call them. This is an Iwata Nissan LV5. So you see it's a lot smaller than the standard Shapton ones. So we will have to do only X strokes on them. So with this Jainat, we need to raise slurry to, uh, to make the grid. So the first one we're gonna use is an Asano Nagura Tenju. 
So the Tenju is around 6, 6, 7k great. So there is no precise great because these are natural stones. So this is how you're making a slurry. And then you push the slurry towards you to start the razor directly on it. Again, make sure that your blade is perfectly flat. At this stage on the JNAT, you don't need to apply much pressure. As you can see at the end of the lap, I'm always trying to put back the slurry that is on the blade back on the stone. Otherwise you will have to redo your slurry uh, too often. Always make sure that your elbow is quite high up. This is the magical side of the JNAT and the slurry. It removes completely the marks from the previous stones. And you will get a very smooth edge and super sharp. So now we rinse this slurry and we will move to the next Nagura. which is the Asano Nagura Mejiro. So the Mejiro would be more around, I would say, 9, 8, 9K. It feels even different when you apply the blade on it from the previous one. So we spend quite a lot of time at first to set the bevel on this specific razor because it was um, machine honed and most probably without the tape. So we had to completely reset the angle of the bevel and the edge, which takes time depending on the metal used. And this still seems to be fairly hard, which is a good thing. And so far what we see under the microscope is that the edge is fairly correct which means that we'll probably be having a good shave at the end of the day. So we are done with this one, and the last Nagura is a Tomo Nagura. So the Tomo Nagura is an extremely hard stone, which will raise a very fine slurry um, around 10K. So different from the previous two ones, this one will raise a brown slurry, where the other one was more whitish. See, you need to be careful also with this uh, Nagura sometimes, like the Tomo Nagura. They will have some um, incrustation of little minerals in it. And when it's in your slurry, when, it, it, when it's hitting your edge, that will make a dent in your edge. And so you will have to restart from scratch. So make sure to remove all, all these little stones from your slurry before putting the edge on it. Again, you do a lap and you put back the slurry on the stone. The difference with this last Nagura is that at one point we will stop putting back the slurry on the stone and we will cut it with water to be at the end only with clear water on the Ivatani stone. That will be our finest grit on 12k plus. This is the last step, so no pressure, just the weight of the blade is enough. Always dry your hand to not have a slippery hand and lose your razor. That'll be a, cha a shame to cut your figure off at this stage.
careful when you're drawing your blade to not cut yourself or the, the cloth you're using. Last check of the light on the edge and under the microscope. So here we go. We have a really nice edge now. Some remaining very fine marks, but that won't make any difference. Now what you need to do is to put the blade on a strope. So I will use a horse laser strope and I will do 150 laps on it. And then what I like to do once I've done my 150 laps is to always check how good or bad is the edge. And what I do is I do a hanging hair test, so the HT. So by just basically putting your hair on top of the blade of the edge and you try to cut it and it should jump cut straight away. So this is working. So we should have a smooth shave. It's not a guarantee always 100%. There is debate, there are debates around on this topic, but I like doing it. It's a good indication. And indeed, I had a really good shave actually with it. Quite surprising to be honest, but it was great. Hope you liked the video. Thank you. Goodbye now.